what's up everybody and welcome to your 14th HTML and CSS tutorial in which we'll be discussing about input boxes or basically continuing our previous tutorial in HTML and CSS series so in the last tutorial we learned about forms and how they work so in this tutorial we'll be looking on some elements of form and to be more precise we'll be looking at input boxes in form so let's create our very first form in HTML so to create a form first of all we have to use make use of keyword form and this form element would accept a number of attributes useful but for now let's just create a simple form tag and let's close this this is a container tag so this has to be closed and now we like to create an input box an input box is kind of a container where user can type uh, pretty much like anything or any information so let's see how we can create input boxes in HTML so let's say you want the user to register at your site and you would like to have some information from the user like their names and email IDs and what their passwords should be and all that stuff so let's create our input box to create an input box we use uh, make use of the element input and this accepts a bunch of attributes and let's see some of those type now type would specify uh, what kind of input you are accept expecting from the user so type text means that user could pretty much enter anything and we have a bunch of values for type attribute as well and we'll see it just now so first of all let's see it in the page and we have the input box ready down here so now we can pretty much type anything we would like to in here so the next thing we would like to have is a submit button so whatever the user types here would be submitted into our form so let's create a submit button let's use uh, make use of br which is break rule and which would act as a new line uh, let's create input type submit now submit is a special uh, input because it won't create a kind of box for the user to enter but it would create a button for the user to press or click when the user is done with the information and is ready to send the information to your servers and when we do input type submit just uh, this would create a blank button and would have no value so it would be kind of look like a crushed button uh, in our case it doesn't appear at all and this is because we haven't specified any value inside this button so let's give it a value of submit the form now let's reload the document and see what happens now we have this button submit the form and whenever we click this button then this form is submitted which contains only one text uh, field and where this form is submitted this input type uh, submit would say to this form hey form I'm ready with all the data user has entered and I give it to you and form right now has no idea what the heck to do with this data and let's give form some meaningful instruction that what should be done with this data so for that we have the attribute form action now form action would pass on this data entered by you to the file or the URL we specify in the action in the action attribute so let's see if I specify the name of this fi file itself then form would basically send all this data to this page itself and this page literally does nothing with the data so that should be okay with for us and let's reload this and now let's see I type hello world and submit this form so basically this data is submitted to this page itself and this page is reloaded so this page reloads uh, so quickly that you are unable to see that it is reloaded but anyways 
now let's come back to this type attribute of input element and let's give it a value of let's say email now in HTML4 we didn't have many uh, values for this type attribute but HTML5 brings a lot of values like your email your number your color and all that your date and all that stuff to this type attribute which is very interesting so now input type email would as I said you would accept or expect from the user to enter their email in a kind of email format and this inbuilt parser would not submit the form unless it accepts a email so let's reload this and let's enter some random bunch of text and let's submit the form now we get this alert box from the user not kind of alert but kind of a notification when we submit this form that please include the at the rate in the email address and uh, this string kajak whatever this is is missing an at the rate so now let's uh, make it a valid email address as it said to include an at the rate and let's submit the form but it says again please enter a part following at the rate uh, uh, Chrome is smart enough to understand what is the basic template for an email address. So now let's enter a valid email address. Let's say my email address and now let's submit this form. And now the form submits it successfully without any error popping. So that's how email works and we have a bunch of more values. For example input type button would create a button itself just like the summit but the difference between button and submit would be on, su on clicking this submit button the form would be submitted but this button would literally do nothing so let's reload this and uh, we get a crush type of button because we don't have any value specified so we can use the value attribute again here to specify I am a button now let's reload this and as you can see we get I am a button and uh, whenever you click this nothing happens so let's say we create input type color and uh, let's remove the value we wanted from the user and now let's reload this now as you can see we get this black button a uh, button inside this black rectangle and when you click on this then we get this color popped up color notification box popped up and you could choose your own custom color down here and click on OK and it would select your color so these input types are basically in beta stages right now and not supported by as you know Internet Explorer yet but let's see now we also have a date which is pretty much interesting and I like this uh, let's reload this and as you can see we got month month date date and year 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 for math and on clicking this small down arrow we get a nice calendar opened in Google Chrome and whoa you could select pretty much any date you like to with this calendar and that's how date works so you could basically increment it as well and yeah let me show you number as well so using number you could not actually enter any bunch of text but it would only accept number so if you do like this and submit the form it would say please enter a number so to enter a number we would do like this and would submit and it would work so this was a tutorial on input boxes and basically this was only limited to the type attribute of input boxes and in further tutorials we'd be looking more on form elements and how they work so stay tuned with me and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching